Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is October 14, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. You're going to see that the futures are flying high this morning. They're up about 13 points at the moment to around the 1278.50, 1278 and a quarter level. So futures getting a little bit of a bump. But remember, markets have been in a pretty severe, sharp downturn as of late. And generally, um, corrections of this nature don't end with gap ups. They normally end with gap downs and then reversals. So you want to take this one in stride. We'll see how this plays out today. Again, you are dealing with a very oversold market. There's no question about that. But the futures are gapping up this morning, trading higher, and we'll see how this all shakes out once the opening bell rings today. But I think traders still want to be on their toes, be a little bit careful here. Uh, there's a lot of earnings being released here, so that's what we're going to focus on today. Uh, and you, obviously, you have the Ebola news. You have weak economic data coming out of Germany again. So there's a lot to, to think about. But nonetheless, that's why we use charts. This way, we don't have to think. We just look at the pattern. All right, let's jump into some charts here and see what's happening. Citigroup earnings today. Stock is trading at $51.15, closed at $49.90. So that's a decent little pop for Citigroup. We'll give it a slight upside bias right now because the stock has been so beaten down. There's still a ton of resistance around $52.80, $52.70. So again, um, if it gets up there, that's probably where it stalls out. But right now, a decent little pop for Citigroup. Next on the docket is J.P. Morgan. This is uh, probably the most important. This is the real Bank of America, like I like to call it. Stock is trading a little bit lower, closed at 58.16. It is now trading at 57.60. I like J.P. Morgan, believe it or not, at $55.15. So if it gets down to that level, that's where you can look to be a buyer of J.P. Morgan. I really wouldn't do it before then. Not to say this level right here, 57.50, won't hold up. This is the daily chart, 200 moving average. So there is a chance that this level does hold. But I really like 55 as best bet. Let's take a look at Wells Fargo. WFC is the ticker symbol there. Stock is trading at $49.75. Uh, the 200-day moving average is going to be around $49.50. So watch for some support. If by some chance Wells Fargo trades down to around 47.27, that's my buy level for the stock. Uh, let's go over to Skywork Solutions. SWKS is the ticker symbol. You're going to see this stock is flying high this morning. Closed at 45.32. Now trading at 48.78. Did get to $50 this morning. Uh, we will look to be playing this one in the chat room. I will have gap levels for us. So this is a stock we will be looking to play in the chat room. So remember, <clears throat> if you want to play this equity, please come over to the intraday stock chat. Take a seven-day free trial. You'll see it right there. We've been doing very, very well on all of our gap plays. Just um, last Friday, MCHP traded up nearly a dollar in just about seven minutes from our entry. So again, if you want those gap plays, come on over. Take a seven-day free trial to the In The Money Stock chat room, and you'll see everything that we're doing. Let's take a look at Domino's Pizza. DPZ is the ticker symbol. Stock right now is trading at 77.35. Did trade as high as 78 dollars. This is a good move um, for the equity. But remember, 78 is really the key level that the stock needs to get through. If it can get through there, it can trade up to 80 dollars and 50 cents. So you want to keep that on the radar today. Domino's Pizza though has a big sticking point at 78. That is the most recent high. So again, um, you want to be a little bit careful with this. If you own it, I would trail the stop. If you don't own it, I would do nothing. Let's take a look at AVGO. This is Avago Technologies. Stock is trading at $73, closed at $69.04. So this is a decent little uh, pop higher this morning. We may look to play this one today in the chat room. So again, come on over, take a seven-day free trial. I'll have some levels for us where we will be playing this stock today. Let's take a look at good old Johnson & Johnson. And what you'll see here is Johnson & Johnson's trading at $100.40. Stock closed at $99.12. That's a decent level for J&J today to get a, a decent pop, I should say. But um, we'll probably have some short levels for Johnson & Johnson later. By some chance, though, if Johnson & Johnson does decline, if it does decline and takes out these lows, watch the $96 area. 
That's a tremendous level for Johnson & Johnson. That's a level where I will be a buyer. $96 for Johnson & Johnson if it gets down there. If it trades higher, we'll look to trade it in the intraday stock chat. And uh, we'll see what the pattern tells us or what it gives us. And we'll trade it accordingly. But if the stock does sell off today, you want to watch the $96 level. See that black line? That's where you want to be involved in Johnson & Johnson. Uh, let me see what else we have on the list here. We have a lot of upgrades and downgrades. And don't forget... This is an options expiration week. So Friday will be the monthly expiration for the month of October. You want to keep that on the radar. It looks like SunTrust has downgraded Lowe's and Home Depot. It looks like um, there were a few other downgrades. I believe Costco was downgraded to hold from buy. Uh, also Ford and General Motors were both removed from Goldman Sachs conviction buy list for whatever that's worth. And then you have Tyco. I think Barclays downgraded that to equal weight from overweight. So we have a lot of equities out here that are upgraded and downgraded, and you're going to see a lot more of that throughout the rest of the week. So be prepared for that. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Just watch the chart. The chart will tell you everything you need to know. Let's take a look at the gold market today. Gold is trading higher by $4.30. Gold futures are now trading at $1,234 an ounce. Let's go to the GLD. GLD has been rallying as of late. Yesterday it closed at 118.52. Today it's trading at 118.66. I don't see anything really wrong with gold here. Uh, if the dollar yen can move lower, and remember I've been talking about dollar yen for quite a while now. Dollar yen moves down, gold will move higher. You're seeing here dollar yen got a pop around 7 o'clock this morning. That's stalling out the gold price. But if dollar yen does revert back down, you should see higher prices in gold. Let's go over to the crude market. Uh, looks like WTI, or I should say Light Sweet Crude, uh, trading down by 65 cents to 85 cents, 85 dollars and 10 cents a barrel. Let's go to the USO, which is a good way to trade Light Sweet Crude. You're going to see this is trading at 31.91. Again, um, closed at 31.99 yesterday, so a little on the weaker side. I don't think there's a lot of downside here for crude. I'm not saying that crude can't get flushed one more time, but crude at these levels is where it starts to stabilize. I think you're going to start hearing about the winter heating season soon. You'll also hear about um, supplies uh, uh, su supplies uh, being built up, but uh, they're going to be used once the winter heater se heating season comes around. So, again, I would not be bearish crude at these levels. Time to be bearish crude was three, four weeks ago. Uh, so that's what I'm seeing, and uh, we'll see if the chart tells us that going forward. All right, crude futures, uh, excuse me, ES futures trading by 12 and a half points at the moment. Decent little pop today. We'll see if this market can uh, stabilize itself. But again, uh, in my opinion, uh, just be ready for volatile times. Uh, rallies will be sold into. Uh, Sell-offs will get bounces. It's just going to be a trader's market going forward. And uh, that's what we like to have and that's what we like to see. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day. And we will see you on the charts.